is up Guru Gang, it's Isabella and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are brand new. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and taking time to watch it. Today we're going to be doing a review on the new Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I'm super excited about this palette. I'm going to be doing swatches and a review and a tutorial and this video is going to be super in depth and very informational so you can see if you want to get this palette or not. If you haven't subscribed already, I would really appreciate it if you would so you can join the Gloria Gang. It's the best gang around and it's the only gang your mom will let you join because we're a good gang. Give this video a big thumbs up if you end up liking it and let's go ahead and get started with our review on this beautiful palette right here. All right, so I have done some research on this palette and I have written down my notes and I'm going to go ahead and read them to you guys. So the first thing I want you to know is that this is 129 bucks and when you would break it down, um, each pan would be $8.60 and normally an eyeshadow pan is about eight to 10 bucks. Sometimes you can find them for five bucks. So it's pretty standard, you're just buying it in a bulk. Natasha Denona is cruelty free and paraben free and you can find this on Beautylish and Natasha Denona's website and Sephora's website. This palette is permanent but it is a part of the holiday collection so it's dropping for holidays but it is going to be permanent because I feel like this is going to be the best palette Natasha Denona has ever come out with so I'm glad it's going to be permanent. So you do have a little bit of time to feel this palette out and see if you really want to put the money into it. Now it is a 15 pan eyeshadow palette and it has matte duochromes, sparkling shades and it has some metallics in here as well. Now all of the shades in this palette are brand new. They have not been done before. They are not existing. These are all brand new to this palette. Now in this palette, you'll find complements of browns and greens that they will complement the gold and the blues. So you definitely do have a variety of colors starting at a neutral eye look and you can definitely amp it up for a more intense nighttime eye look. And last but not least, each eyeshadow pan is 0.08 ounces. I'm trying not to blind you guys here, but here is what the packaging looks like. It is gold and it has the leather feeling as the Natasha Denona Sunset and Lila palette. So it's super nice and super sturdy. Now you do get fingerprints on it, so if that bothers you, then I just wanted to let you guys know that. So you have the standard, a big mirror, and the little slip right here that has the names on it and for protection of traveling. And then you will see that you have your three rows of eyeshadows, including metallics, duochromes, sparkling chroma crystal tops, and mattes. All right, so I am gonna go ahead and answer the swatches. I'm gonna start with the name, the finish, and then I'm gonna describe the color for you guys. Starting with that first color on the top row, we have lime chrome, and it is a yellow green metallic. Next to that, we have python, which is a light medium green creamy powder. Next to that, we have the color sparks. It's a pearl glitter, and it's also one of our chroma crystal top coats. Next up, we have Aria, which is a coral matte. And the last color on the top row is called Kava. It is a sheer champagne glitter, which is one of her crystal chroma top coats. Starting with the second row, we have Aura, which is a blue emerald glitter. Beside that, we have Dijon, which is a mustard matte. Next, we have Aura, which is a metallic gold. Beside that, we have Log, which is a deep brown matte. And the last color on the second row is Varus, which is a metallic bronze. And starting with the third row, we have a brass, which is a bronze gold green duochrome. Besides that, we have a nice transition color called sandstone. It is a light terracotta matte. Next up, we have alchemist, which is a metallic rose gold. Beside that, we have teak, which is a terracotta matte. And the last color on the third row is called aurum, and it is a dusty gold metallic. Honestly, those are probably the best swatches I have ever experienced. None of the colors swatched patchy and they all felt super nice. This one down here and the chroma crystal ones feel like someone just dumped water on them. Like they're super cold and like kind of like, like wet and moist. I know people hate that, don't come at me. But that's truly how they feel. They swatch so amazingly and I'm so excited to play with this palette. So let's do a tutorial. So I'm not sure exactly what I wanna do, but I saw on Sephora, or was it Natasha Denona's Instagram, I actually like screenshotted it so I could see, but it was so pretty and I want to create something like this. First things first, I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids with some of the Too Faced Born This Way concealer that I use. So now that my eyelid is set, we're gonna go into Aria as our light transition color. I'm not making this color too intense either. I am just buffing this to the crease so we have a little bit of a color. I'm gonna go in with a tad bit more. So after that transition color, it looked like she went straight in with a like champagne color and then she went with the gold and then she went with the blue on the outer edge. I think I want to build this a little bit more so I'm just taking the same Aria color and making my transition the slightest bit more to find. All right, so it almost looks like she took the color Aurum and put it on the middle of the lid, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm not gonna use my brush wet, it's gonna be straight from the palette. And it looks like she had just put it in the center of the lid. 
That is so pigmented and like mended together without applying Fix Plus on top of it. That is so pretty. I'm gonna go for one more layer. That is so beautiful. Obviously we have to blend it out, but that just in the middle of the lid is so pretty. I'm gonna take a little bit of Kava, which is one of her duochromes, and tap it on top. Holy crap. Kava almost feels like silky, like a oil when you tap into it. So in the inner corner, she applied Oro, and I'm gonna do that as well. And she really made it like, oh my gosh, wait, that's so much. She literally made it like flare out to like the inner part meeting the other color. I've never put a bright yellow in my inner corner, so I'm kind of scared, but we're gonna do this. I'm gonna start like right here. Oh my gosh, these are so pigmented. And now I'm just gonna like bring it down. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this eye. And then it looks like on the outer edge out here, she took the color Python. I think she just used this color to smoke it out up here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Holy crap, that's pigmented. I'm just making sure it's like blended into the middle color. It's honestly really pretty and so cool how it all kind of just like flows together. Now we're gonna go into this eye. I'm going back in with the transition color Aria and just kind of fixing up that transition out here. So I know it's not exactly perfect, but I feel like I just kind of got the gist and the color scheme of it. So now we're gonna do the lower lash line. It looks like on the lower lash line, she didn't have a much on it, but the transition color. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. And then I'm curing a little of the blue that I put out here and connecting it a little. The blue color that I'm using Python is definitely a very cream to powder formula. And the more you apply, the better it looks. So she also brought down that yellow that's in the inner corner called Oro and took it down to the lower lash line. Probably one of the best eyeshadow formulas I think I've ever used, 100% real. So here is how the eye look is looking right now. I think it's really pretty and it's something that I think I would never like think of to do because I would never put like a darker color out here in two different colors in here on the lid. So I'm gonna go put some lashes on and apply some mascara and I will be back with my final thoughts. I think this is my favorite Natasha Denona palette that's come out yet. I love her Sunset palette so much. Like you can tell I have used up this palette so much, but honestly, I'm thinking I like this more. This is probably gonna be like my everyday go-to palette as well because it has my neutrals. Golds are my favorite thing to put on my eye besides purples. And when you look at the palette, yes, you have some fun colors over here. You have this really cool lime color up here and this cool color down here. But when you kind of take a step back and you look at Rose, by row and then you do the half and half thing this is your neutral palette right here it has your transition colors your warm tones your cool tones and your golds and then you have colors over here to give it a different type of look kind of like i did i used both sides today so i was able to use some neutrals on the eye and then spice it up at the edge with the blue i do feel like this is something that you need in your collection i can't tell you if it is worth the price for you to me this is my go-to palette for me this is a hundred percent worth it i'll be using this so much definitely let me know down below what you think of this palette what you think of the I look that I created. I really do love it. And if you're going to be getting this palette or skipping on it, I'm hoping I will see you guys in my very next video. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be part of the Gorilla Gang. Follow my social medias that are listed up here above. And I will see you guys in my very next video. Bye guys.